Uh, the Observer was out this morning with a bunch of uh, tidbits and news and some some stories in there, especially about the new TKO company. But what wasn't in there was something that I saw this morning. The Rock saying that it was locked in. It him and Roman for 39. It was never locked in. <laughs> That's what it he was, said. I know he said that, um, which is funny because if you remember, I mean, I was, you know, as you know, we talked about it all the time you know yeah. leading up to wrestlemania that year and wrote about it and all that and um you know when when it didn't happen brian gortz went out and said oh it was all made up there was never anything to it and it was just like why are you saying this <laughs> you know i and then people are going you you know you lied you're making this stuff up and it's like why are you saying this i mean i know what the deal is i mean the deal always was and it went back before los angeles it was went back years you know where he was always talking about wanting to come back, do the WrestleMania match with Roman once Roman became the biggest star in the company. And, you know, it was, you know, I, the pandemic basically slowed it down. You know, he wasn't going to do it in the, he wasn't going to do it in front of no fans for sure. Yeah. He wasn't going to do it in front of 20,000 fans in Tampa that year. Um, when they went to Dallas, it was d discussed but his thought was Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, but it was up in the air in the, the Dallas year. I mean, that was on the table. Los Angeles, it was going to be, I mean, it was the favorite match. It was going to be in Los Angeles. And then, you know, in late in the year, like he said, in, in um, um, you know, like late in the year, late, you know, he, um, you know, he basically pulled out. I mean, it was, it was, it was a schedule thing. You know, he he did not want to go in and and, you know, and he's older and everything. He did not want to go in and not have time to train and get into his best shape possible wrestling shape. I mean, I remember when I said this, we go, oh, he looks great, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's like that what he looks like is very different from pro wrestling conditioning. And the only way to do pro wrestling conditioning is to go in a ring and train and train and train the pro wrestling cardio because he's not going to come in to do a four minute match like, you know, uh, Bill Goldberg or, or, or somebody like that, or, you know, the undertaker at the end, you know, whatever he's going to want to do a real match. And to do that at his age and with the amount of time he has been out, it takes a lot of conditioning training and he had other things going on. And, uh, you know, he, he basically felt he didn't have time to do it. And so he pulled out, but yeah, that was, I mean, it was the match that they wanted without doubt. And I know he talked about Philadelphia and the balls in his court. If he has the time and with a strike, you know, he, he may have the time. Well, um, if, but if the strike ends, then he's going to be super busy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's WrestleMania is always, has always been contingent on other things. You know, it's not like he's got like some movie that he's going to make $20 million on. And it's like, oh, I've got WrestleMania. You know, that's not going to happen. And he does have the the one thing that he does have, and he will have next year as well, which was part of the thing this year, was the, the launch of the XFL. That's very time consuming. You know, he's co-owner of that league. And, you know, the league's the league's a struggle. He's going to have to promote the hell out of it. He had to promote the hell out of it last year. He's going to do it again this year. He's the, he's the basically the public face of the league. And so doing that is, is a time consuming thing as well. But, you know, again, like, does he want to do it? A hundred percent. Yes. You know, I mean, I'm sure he wants that as his last match. The guy loves pro wrestling. I think, you know, he did, he did freaking tales of the territories. <laughs> he did a freaking television show on NBC, which was, you know, about his growing up, which was like 70% pro wrestling. So, I mean, the guy loves pro wrestling. He wants to do it. It's his cousin, you know, and the whole bit. It's just the thing is, he's, he's a really big star. And there are other commitments that are going to come. WrestleMania is not the biggest thing in the world to him, even if, even if you know, he probably wants it to be at some point, you know, I'm sure for family reasons. Like his daughter's a freaking pro wrestler now, which shocks the hell out of me. But she is, you know, I mean, I, I would never have thought that. But then again, you know, look at the family. I mean, you know, the whole you know, thing from, from Peter Maivia on down, you know, is, is a wrestling family, no matter how big he gets, he will always be the third generation pro wrestler, you know? So, um, 
yeah, I mean, he may do the match. and um, But it's like, yeah, it's, it's nothing that we didn't. I mean, you and I talked about that extensively. He pulled yeah. out. Cody got the spot. Yep. Uh, could be this year. Uh, he takes Cody's spike <laughs> here <laughs> and lays Cody's win by another year. I don't know. What did you think about the line that he said that they wanted to do something that had never been done and maybe starting the storyline at WrestleMania rather than it being the culmination? He didn't say what that storyline was in the clip that I saw. Well, but- I always, I always thought that the tribal chief and all that was, you know, part of that storyline. You know, where it's the head of the family, the head of the table, and then the real head of the table and the real, you know, tribal chief shows up one day at WrestleMania and they build a match for a year. Yeah, I could see that build a match for a year. Sure. So, I mean, if he was to do that, then you're talking about WrestleMania 41, WrestleMania 42. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting a little then, bit older but, but, at that point. Well, that's why a lot of people, when he pulled out this year, thought that, that it wasn't going to happen because it was kind of like... You know, every year it gets less and less likely because of, um, you know, you get older. And um, and again, I don't think he wants to go in there. I know he doesn't want to go in there and do a bad performance. I mean, even though I haven't spoken to him about it in years. I mean, the thing is, is I know when he wrestled, you know, the last time he wrestled, when he had the last run, you know, um, you know, I mean, I was dad was always in contact with him then. And um you know, I mean, he took great pride in his ability to maintain his speed, having being in condition. And you got to remember that that this, um, you know, I mean, like he's he's going to have to drop weight to keep the speed at the age that he is. I mean, it's but I mean, he can do it. You know, I mean, there's there's no you know, I mean, the guy knows his body, knows how to he knows all the tricks and in, in, you know, uh, changing your physique for what for a wrestling version of him as opposed to a bodybuilder actor version of him. And, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, he can do it and, and, and all that. It's just, but, but it, it's very, very time consuming. And that's the key is, is the time and well, avoidance of injuries too, you know, which as you get older, uh, you know, those injuries are, are harder to heal and they're easier to get. So, yeah. I mean, that's, that's another part. I mean, he did, he did um, the, I think, I think he got hurt in, both WrestleManias that he did with Cena, right? I mean, I remember he tore a hamstring and won and continued the match. And I didn't even know he tore the hamstring um, until I'm trying to remember when, you know, it was, it was weeks later, but then the next year it was, was the one where he just, he tore his abdominal and delayed Hercules. It delayed Hercules. Oh yeah. I mean, I, you know, I mean, I was, you know, everyone knew about that because yeah, he, had, he was trying to get into like this incredible, um, you know, bodybuilder shape for Hercules and then that happened and, you know, it, it, in, you know, it impacted his training and, you know, um, that was a disaster. And that's one of the reasons that he never wrestled again was because he delayed that movie. And, and there were other years where it was talked about where, you know, the movie people are just like, you know, no, you cannot do this wrestling bit because you've got stuff in, in things. So it's got to be, that's the other thing is he's got to not have um, a movie scheduled like not right away like Hercules was because he, he can't do that risk. So if he's going to do it, it's going to have to, he's going to actually like, like have to take a break um, as far as, um, you know, filming movies or something because of the injury risk of, of him doing that match. Yeah. I think uh, Shane McMahon would probably tell him no leapfrogs at, at our <laughs> age. Yeah. Um, hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.